For a very long time, I did not use the Widowmaker. When I first downloaded TF2, I started playing Engineer, and when I tried out the Widowmaker, I of course missed all of my shots. And decided it really wasn't worth using. I was incredibly wrong. I didn't notice until I started going through recordings. Another part of this is that none of these people are turning around. Like, I just killed your medic. What are you doing, man? Like, genuinely, am I just invisible to everyone? What is happening? Also, check out this great auto balance. Thanks for holding the cart demo just so I got sent to the other team as they lost. For those that don't know, the Widowmaker uses the Engineer's Metal instead of having an ammo counter. It costs 30 metal per shot, meaning you have 6 shots. The important stats though are that damage dealt is returned as ammo and the lack of a reload, meaning that theoretically you never have to stop firing so long as you hit your shots. The self-sustaining infinite fire these stats produce is incredibly addicting to play with. It's hard to describe just how much fun this weapon is to use. But it's not without its downsides. Using metal instead of ammo means that as engineer, you have to be a lot more cautious with how you spend your metal. If you use all of it to upgrade buildings, you are left incredibly vulnerable as you don't have your primary weapon. But if you can hit your shots, every enemy becomes an ammo crate. The Widowmaker lets you essentially go hunting for metal. It merges the two modes an engineer can be in. Instead of having just a designated battle engineer and defensive engineer, you momentarily become a battle engineer charging into the enemy team to fill up your metal. Once you have stocked up, you can return to upgrading your nest. The Widowmaker just makes you feel strong. Most of the games I played for this video ended with me in the top 3. I don't consider myself amazing at TF2, but I can definitely hold my own. With the Widowmaker though, I feel like making risky plays is just an option that can pay off a lot more. Like look at this clip. I see that their enemy combo is pushing in, so I decide what if I went around the point, and by doing that I catch them off guard and am able to take down one of the two medics with this soldier. I'm not really sure what they were going for, but it didn't really seem to work, and I was able to take one of them out. I started getting ubers when using the Widowmaker, which like, thanks medic, I'll probably only get two kills, but I'll take a free uber. I went to play this full uber just because this guy's great. My audio didn't record though, so I'll just fill you in. I'm apologizing here because I missed all of my shots. And I'm telling him here to get out because the entire enemy team is starting to push him. While it's not bad on defense, the Widowmaker definitely favors a more offensive playstyle. The consistent damage paired with a mini or level 1 sentry, and the fact that most enemies will focus on a sentry rather than you, means you can pretty quickly win most 1v1s. Like this heavy that just stares at the sentry, or this demo that probably could have walked away by the time that sentry deployed. Moving on to weapon pairs, for secondaries I'd probably put it as Pistol, Wrangler, and the Short Circuit. The pistol's just such a reliable weapon, whether it be as a finisher or just annoying the sniper that's single-handedly stomping your entire team. It's just the perfect tool for the job. With 200 ammo and consistent damage, it's always a great fallback for when you run out of metal. The Wrangler isn't bad with the Widowmaker, but I just felt held back by it. Even when I tried playing as aggressively as possible, I just had the overwhelming urge to charge in there and get it done myself. The strength of Engineer as a class is that he has two sources of damage, himself and his sentry, so throwing away that ability just feels wrong. I don't think I need to describe why a secondary that uses metal as ammo doesn't work well with a primary that does the same. With the Widowmaker, you want a secondary for the exact scenario of being out of metal. The short circuit does not do enough damage or provide enough utility to outcompete the Widowmaker itself. You just end up with both weapons eating away at your metal and thus their ammo. The short circuit takes 60 metal for a 1 alt fire, which is the only reason you'd use it. And that's the same as two Widowmaker shots. And the short circuit doesn't even give you your metal back. And no, short circuit jumping does not change my opinion. In comparison to the secondaries, the melees are a lot more useful. My list goes Gunslinger, Jag, Eureka Effect, Stock, and Southern Hospitality. The Gunslinger pairs wonderfully with the Widowmaker. The decreased cost of mini sentries means you have more ammo to fire with, 
and the less metal you have to recover to build another sentry. You also get more health to attack with. It's just a ton of fun because even if they destroy your sentry, you can just clean up with the Widowmaker and immediately build another with the metal you just got. The other wrenches are okay, but they just don't give you the same offensive options as the Gunslinger does. They work well with the Widowmaker, don't get me wrong, but the Gunslinger is just on another level. I do think that the Widowmaker needs the same change that I've seen proposed for the short circuit, which is not being able to get metal from the payload cart while the weapon's deployed. Because with the whole gimmick of having to spend metal to shoot your shots, having an infinite source of metal reduces that downside. By the payload cart, you get all of the upsides and none of the downsides. However, this isn't nearly as bad on the Widowmaker as it is on the short circuit. If I haven't made the point clear enough, the Widowmaker is a ton of fun and probably one of the most rewarding weapons in TF2, and I really want you to go give it a try. It's just a great weapon and I cannot see a reason why not to use it. Thank you for watching, this video is a little different, I hope it was still entertaining nonetheless. If you enjoyed this video please like, if you really like this video please subscribe, and if you have anything to add please put it in the comments. Thank you, goodbye. Mission begins in right, You got a banjo? Wanna make a band? We gotta get a GoFundMe.